This is a response to Corey from Overkill Vids and his 300 subs contest about concert experiences. At uh, first I wasn't sure that I should share my experiences because I haven't had any since the 90s. I haven't been to any concerts, but I thought, why not? So, here we go. As you can see from the opener, my first concert experience was in 1990, Madonna's Blonde Ambition Tour, and I was nine years old at the time, so this is a pretty, a pretty early memory. I think I went to concerts before this, but I usually don't have any memories of the 80s. I don't know why. I have some memories, but not a lot. But the Madonna concert, I definitely remember being there. So, I was nine, and it was at the Summit. I wish I had my ticket stub. I looked for it. I don't have it. So, the Summit is no longer a place. That's how long ago this was. I think Lakewood Church now, um, it's, that's what it is now. And it was the Compact Center after the summit, and now there's the Toyota Center. It's, anyway, since I don't go to concerts anymore, I only sort of know what's going on there. But anyway, it was the summit in 1990, and I think we were on one of the balconies because Madonna looked like an ant. I mean, completely tiny. Like, you could see her gyrating on a bed with her pointy bra um, onesie thing on, leotard, whatever it was. I looked up the concert um, from the Houston show back then. I don't know if it was the one I was at or if there were more um, days on the tour in Houston, but it was from 1990 and it was muted because of copyright, so I don't know what song she was gyrating to. I mean, Like a Virgin sounds like it, it would be possible for that act, but it's been so long ago. Maybe I'll try looking it up again, but anyway, so she's doing this thing on the bed and the people in front of us are smoking pot or something because it's really hazy in the air around us. and. But I'm still enjoying the concert, and I probably didn't even know what was going on at the time. I was just like, yay, Madonna. And that was during my times when I did many concerts to her songs, and the voguing, and the um, open your heart on the chair. Like, she did those moves on the chair, and we would imitate those, me and my friend. So anyway, I went to the concert with my parents, since I didn't say that previously, and Mom always brings up about the pot smoking, so I know I'm not making that part up, and I guess it's pretty typical of concerts, but I was young, so I only, I probably thought they were just smoking or something, and anyway, so after the concert, I remember going to the merchandise area and getting um, a tour, one of those concert tour books, and um, a, and we had a t-shirt too, which mom said she used as a night shirt, um, but we got rid of both of them, probably at a garage sale or something. I really regret it now. I didn't know I'd one day be making a video talking about it. I was probably in my rap phase by then, and no longer cared about Madonna, and if I had the concert memorabilia. I regret it now. I'll put pictures of the shirt and the um, book I'm talking about because I found them on eBay, so I'll put it between segments. So that's basically, that was my first experience I remember.
The second concert I went to was in 1997 when I saw Tony Braxton with Kenny G, as you could see from the opener. And I do have the ticket stub to this, if you could see. There. So yeah, this took place at the summit as well, so the summit still existed in 1997. Kenny G was there, probably because he was backing her on, I know he was in one of her songs, Angel something, I think it was on the poster for the connection of why he was there. So I remember that I was very excited to see Tony Braxton, not as much for Kenny G, but Anyway, after she performed and everything, it was time for Kenny G's solo, and like probably 80% of the people there got up and left, and because I was a bratty teen at the time, I slumped in my chair and kind of rolled my eyes because um, my parents didn't want to go with, with everyone else who was leaving, so I had to stay and endure the torture that I thought Kenny G would be, and he comes out, he comes out into the audience, and we're off to the side of the stage, and he walks out to the crowd with his um, sax, and he does that thing where he holds the note, like, it felt like a minute or more, maybe not that long, but it felt like forever that he held this one note, and we were all supposed to be impressed and all. I was just sitting there like, okay, when's, when's this ending? He did a couple of his hits and that's all I basically remember from this. But I loved Tony Braxton and the Unbreak My Heart song, so I don't, um, I don't see this as a bad experience or anything. I just see it as funny. Like I always mention, yeah, the time I was tortured by Kenny G and his one note and like only a couple other people were still there which kind of says something about um, that smooth jazz sound I guess that even you know people who pay for a concert want to leave early but I don't know I guess some people like Kenny G but uh, I don't think that's going to be me. I don't know if I'm going to change my mind about it, even though I've changed my mind about jazz in general, but smooth, easy listening jazz, I don't know. I went to was in 1998 when I saw Boys to Men and opening for them was Destiny's Child so that was when Beyonce was not a star yet and the song No 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 Yes 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 was out if you know that one the one that goes say no 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 say yes 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 anyway so that's the song that was their hit it at that time and they were opening and it took this concert was at the Woodlands Pavilion so it was not at the summit maybe the summit still existed but the Woodlands was the place to be and the Woodlands is great you know I've went to the mall there a lot so it's like a like being in a forest like a wonderland forest you know everything just looks you know way away from everything so anyway i remember we got there and it was still light out when destiny's child was performing we were all just sitting there getting ready and when it got dark the lights went down boys to men came out and i remember standing up and singing along to their hits and everything was great dad went to go get some nachos and during that time everything became sort of surreal and I just got really anxious. This was around the time when my anxiety started in 11th grade so everything was new with the anxiety stuff. Like I would think I was 
you know, I was able to go places and I'd be excited about it. But then all of a sudden I'd get anxious out of nowhere. I was, I think I just got overly excited to see them and after singing the song, singing along to the songs and everything, I just, I, I remember telling mom I was getting anxious and I thought I wanted to leave early. And she took that stuff seriously. Maybe she tried to tell me, oh, it'll pass or, I don't really remember, but I do know that after um, dad came back with the nachos, that was around the time we got up and left. And the song in the opener, the song for mama was what was playing when we were in the parking lot leaving. And maybe I was a little disappointed that I couldn't ride it out because who knows, maybe they were only going to play for another maybe half an hour or less. So, but I just, I needed to leave when it's like that fight or flight thing, you know, you just, I always chose to leave when things got hard. So I wouldn't say this was a horrible experience though. I did like seeing what I did see of that concert. And I use that experience to gauge how I'm doing, like, anxiety-wise, you know? I'm up and down. So anyway, that was the last I saw. I wish that, because that was between my rap R&B phase to alternative phase when I started liking Radiohead, so it would have been great if I had been able to go to a Radiohead concert, but it just didn't happen. I'm happy to have these experiences. So I hope this was a good response for you, Corey. And before I forget, there was something in my um, childhood book of a concert I had no clue about. It was the Nelson Brothers or something. Like, here it was. There's a ticket stub. I think this was at Astro Arena or something. Mom says we went to see them, the monkeys and heart, but I have no rec recollection of this at all. It says it was in 1991, so you'd think I'd rem I don't remember this, but that was kind of funny to see I had this, but no Madonna memorabilia left. But anyway, oh, and this location right here, I'm just closer to my door because I, did, I didn't want to play music today and I just thought it would be a bad background with no music playing and a towel covering my turntable. That's not as exciting. So you get to see my door. Anyway, take care and I hope you enjoy this response. <laughs>